Here on Earth, we are making big plans to send the first humans to Mars, but it looks like Starfleet may have gotten there first. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has photographed a huge chevron formation, which just happens to look like a Star Trek logo. Now anyone who has ever seen a Star Trek movie or TV episode would immediately recognise the shape, as the insignia design for Starfleet worn on every uniform which also acted as a comm badge in the Star Trek Next Generation series. The chevron shapes were found in the southeast Hellas Planitia region of Mars, and were formed by a complex series of events. The Star Trek logo shapes are actually sand-formed crescent-shaped dunes, called Barkan dunes, sculpted by the wind. At some point in Martian history, these crescent-shaped dunes were in the area when an eruption sent lava spilling out, moving around the dunes but not covering them. As the lava cooled, the dunes pointed up like islands, but the dunes were still made out of sand so the winds could move them. Over time, the sands were blown out of the cast, leaving their footprint called dune casts, which were left behind in the lava field. There are around 300 of these formations, and a further 480 have been spotted in a region called the Noctis Labyrinthus, filled with a maze of valleys. So no, unfortunately, it's not a sign that Starfleet once visited Mars. But if you think that image is bizarre and hard to believe, take a look at this. When the New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto, it captured an unusually shaped light patch on the surface, which has sparked comparisons to the famed Disney dog character of the same name, Pluto. Now a scientific study was done, and found that the human brain is essentially hardwired to recognise shapes in objects, such as looking up at the clouds and seeing faces, or unicorns, or whatever. That being said, the light patch really does look like the dog Pluto, and being it's on the planet Pluto, just makes it even more amazing. I wonder what NASA will find next. Probably Mickey Mouse on Mercury. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.